earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. As I read through the Old Testament, I found out that one of the things that God does when he wants to meet his people is to prepare them ahead. Somebody said, if you don't, pre- if you don't prepare to meet God, you will jam God. Or God will jam you. But when you prepare to meet your God, God comes to meet with you. He envelops you with his power and his glory. When God calls a man, the, the ministry is not about what man is doing. Ministry, true ministry, true lasting kingdom ministry is what God wants to do that he calls a man to do it. And how will you know what God wants you to do except you have met God? Except God has met you. I cannot receive through third hand what God wants me to do. Except you are in the context of a family, father and sons. That instruction is passing from the father to the sons. But a father that does not know what to do and where to go will lead children astray. And many pastors are leading many members astray today because they have not met God. And do you know what? God is very easy to meet. Write it down in capital letters. God is very easy to meet. God is not difficult to meet. It's the devil that make it look as if it is a laborious task to meet with God. God is very easy to meet because he's everywhere, omnipresent. And anyone can meet him at any time, in any place. People that don't know God have called on him. God, if you are truly God and you are there, Reveal yourself. And you'll be surprised. He reveals himself. We have seen people of another religion that we say, God, if truly Jesus is Lord, show yourself to me. And true, true, Jesus is going to show up and he's going to see a vision now. See a man on the tree bleeding and say, I did this for you. And conviction grip his heart and the things of the kingdom get battered in his spirit. God is very easy to meet. But the devil will do everything to keep you from meeting God one-on-one from time to time so that what God wants to do through you will not be possible. So that you will be doing what you want to do and call it ministry. Ministry is not working on human strategy. Ministry is not going to study a ministry that has succeeded and look at the departments they have and look at what they do and go and duplicate it. Many people will be surprised when they get to heaven and God say, I have no hand in this. I didn't commission this. Is it possible to do a ministry that God has no hand in? Very well. In fact, it is easier. It is easier because you don't need any press in the spirit. Just do what people are doing. If you have money, you may have a ministry that is thriving. These last days, that God is not the backup. They built the Tower of Babel, didn't they? They said, we are going to build. God had no hand in it. The Ark of Noah, Noah received specific instructions from the Father, from the Lord. He gave him, so five cubits, six cubits, the kind of gopher wood to be used, everything, details from God. Don't go to any ministry that the set man did not meet God, or God didn't meet him, and God is not meeting him regularly to give the pattern, to give the instruction, to give the direction, and then every other associate begins to download. They built the Tower of Babel. God had no hand in it. God didn't know anything about it. And God said, let us go there. Can you imagine? The maker wants to come down, to come and see what they are doing, because he didn't author it. He, he, he didn't issue from him. And when God saw it, he said, these people are so desperate, they will, they, will, they, will, they will build this thing they have determined to do, except I, 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 I scatter them. And God scattered their language. Because they were going to do it. Did they not give back to Ishmael? Is Ishmael the plan of God? Yes or no? Answer me, people of God. Ishmael God's plan? But was Ishmael born or not? He was born. He even grew old. He even partook of some of the covenants on Abraham. Can you imagine? But God had no hand in it. One of the dangerous things you can do is to bath something that God has not authored. 
I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.